Dr. Shepard, we've talked about sugar and cancer, and most people are aware, or at least some people are aware, that sugar feeds cancer. You have a very interesting study that you did, or some work that you did in Georgia with sugar feeding cancer cells and seeing the metabolic activity on thermography. Can you explain that to us? Yes, uh, uh, you know, the idea uh, and the, uh, the very fundamental study of uh, the relationship between sugar and cancer, uh, it's very old. Uh, in the beginning of uh, 20th century, uh, Nobel Prize winner uh, Otto Warburg, he presented the concept and then the theory uh, that uh, the glucose, D-glucose, is the main feeding component for Cancer, cancer cells. In Georgian Oncological Center, uh, we performed uh, some experiments, and to then what we simply did, we uh, intravenously injected the 20, 20 uh, gram, 20 cc of 40% glucose, and <coughs> made the same series of thermograms before, and then one hour after glucose load. And in pretty high percentage of cases, especially in cases of breast cancer, we uh, were able to increase the um, hot spots, the size as well as the temperature of uh, hot spots, which are characteristic for breast cancer. Uh, this approach allowed us to increase the diagnostic of breast cancer more than 12 percent. 